Hey guys, Roman here from Tech Guides, and in today's short video, we're going to look at the performance impact and the visual quality of using the Intel XESS upscaling filter in Modern Warfare 2. Now, today's video is going to be a bit of an update on the video that I produced last week, where I went through each and every sharpening filter in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and showed you the associated performance as well as visual quality that you can expect using the different upscaling techniques. Now, if you haven't seen that video, then I would highly recommend you to go back to that other video if you're interested in the performance impact and visual comparison of all of the other upscaling filters in Modern Warfare 2 other than Intel XESS. Now, back then, the Intel XESS upscaling filter didn't properly work, but in the meantime, Infinity Ward has addressed these issues and actually fixed the Intel upscaling filter so that we can now today look at a visual and performance comparison of this upscaling filter. And with having said that, let's jump into the first part of today's video, which is on the performance impact of using Intel XESS. On this graph, you can see two measurements. The blue ones are for my primary system, which has an i9-12900K, a 3070 and is running a 1440p display, and the yellow numbers, which is for my secondary system, that has an i7-7700K and only a 1060 and is actually also driving a 1080p monitor. Now you can see the absolute performance of the different filters in FPS, as well as the relative change with respect to not running any filters at all. Now Intel XESS in fact also runs at a lower native resolution than what your display is. And in fact, it actually runs at the same fraction of a resolution as Nvidia image scaling. But compared to that, it provides a much less significant improvement in performance. Starting with the performance preset, which is running the game at only 50% resolution, you can see that I'm gaining about 20% in terms of average FPS and about 23 to 26% in the 1% lows. When looking at a visual comparison between native 1440p on the left hand side and Intel XESS performance on the right hand side, you can see that the lower resolution is quite clearly visible in terms of texture quality or texture resolution. You can see the rocks have much less details, the little bushes are less resolved, and just generally the image is much softer. Now, if you do a quick freeze frame, um, there's a few things that are apparent. First of all, there is much less aliasing going on on railings and thin objects. Second of all, you get much less resolution. So for instance, text becomes much more blurry. Look at this hydroelectric power plant and how you can barely read it with Intel XCSS enabled. But then also generally other objects like the water or the gloves look much worse. And third and most importantly is that around some objects you get kind of weird fringing or kind of double edges of the actual objects. And you can see it on this downed player here very well also on the curtain. And if we move on to this other freeze frame, it becomes really apparent on your gun sights. And unfortunately, this was the case for all XCSS presets. Moving on to the balanced preset, which runs the game at 58% of your native resolution, I found a performance boost of about 10%. Due to the still relatively low resolution that this preset is rendering your game at, most of the textures still don't have an awful lot of details when compared to native 1440p. And when moving to our freeze frame, we can see essentially the same features as before. Text is relatively blurry, there is less aliasing, the image looks actually quite smooth. However, we're still seeing significant fringing around some objects. On the balanced preset, we're barely seeing any improvements in terms of performance. I'm only getting 6 to 4% increase in the average FPSs, slightly higher increases in the 1% lows, which is nice, but still probably nothing you would actually feel when playing. Visually, XESS quality looks pretty good compared to native 1440p, in fact. While of course we're still getting much less details on textures, the entire image just looks extremely smooth. Unfortunately, text is still a bit difficult to read on this preset and the issue of fringing is still not completely solved. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, the Nvidia Image Scaling Quality preset also runs the game at 66% and provides a healthy almost 40% boost in performance. And therefore, I decided to also include this comparison here just to show you kind of what you can expect when choosing either of these two upscaling filters. 
Now I think in the end it really comes down to what you prefer. Do you want higher resolved textures with sharper edges but also more aliasing? Just look at how you can actually distinguish the multiple neon lights in this building compared to Intel XSS where they just basically come one. Or if you prefer the smoother looking image and the more anti-aliasing that is introduced with Intel XSS. Finally, we have the ultra quality preset. Now, unfortunately, using this preset will actually make you lose performance compared to not having any upscaling filter applied, which is a bit sad because here the game is actually run at 76% of the native resolution. So basically only at three quarter of the full resolution, but still you're losing performance. Now, one reason why we're actually seeing much lower performance with XCSS enabled compared to the other upscaling techniques is that XCSS actually forces anti-aliasing to SMA 2 times Filmic, which is a higher performance hit than the regular SMA 2 times that are used to benchmark the other upscaling filters. Anyway, visually XCSS Ultra Quality definitely provides a good mix between having very nice aliasing and still getting a relatively large amount of details on textures. So finally we're somewhat able to read this hydroelectric plant text here in this scene. But quite sadly this fringing that I'm seeing on every other frame or so is still pretty apparent. Now sort of the death sentence for XCSS Ultra Quality comes when we compare it to Fidelity FX Cars. This preset also comes with roughly 3, maybe 4% FPS drop. However, this actually runs the game at the native resolution of your monitor and makes the game look extremely crisp. Now, of course, it's a bit unfair to compare these because the one on the right hand side is only rendered at 76% resolution. But still, just look at the textures. There's so much more detail on the rocks, on your gloves. You can easily read the text and the palm tree in the background actually retains some details. So in conclusion, would I use Intel XCSS in its current implementation in Modern Warfare 2? Probably not. However, I think it's also a bit of a personal decision because some people like to have a smoother gaming experience in terms of having less aliasing, so not having all of these edges on like canted uh, lines. Uh, whereas I personally preferred the higher resolve, so like the high resolution, more grainy, more gritty kind of look that I'm getting with Fidelity FX cars and just running the game in the native resolution. But that is it for today guys, if you still have any questions in terms of upscaling and sharpening filters in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, then make sure to drop them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then definitely hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of super in-depth videos on different quality settings, not only for Modern Warfare 2, but for basically any other game. If you do have any suggestions what I should cover next, then definitely also leave that in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.